what you can, you can do that. You wrote, so you're also allowed another rule to fire the prospect. Boy, I'm full of rules today. You can tell I'm working on my book. Um, the thing about it is you've got to make them want to buy, not, not overpower them or corner them or intimidate them. You want to make them say, Audrey, yeah, we trust you. We, Audrey, we, this is a big problem. Um, you know, you might even turn it around with re negative or positive redirection. Audrey, you're in a nice condo right now. Uh, what's the, you said you need a house now. You've been looking for six months, 12 months. What's the rush here? Uh, I mean, uh, why, why you've been in that house 10 years. What would be wrong with another few years? They've been in the house for 15 years. Okay. Did you tell and them? They have, a, yeah, they have a large budget, large. Okay, but that's okay. But why but are they yet all? Nothing satisfies them. Nothing satisfies them. If What's I tell urgency? them here's something for 2.5, they want something for 3.5 for 2.5. It's ne them? never going to be satisfied. They don't want to be satisfied. What, why don't you tell them? Audrey, what do you need to be satisfied? We've been looking at houses. We've been, when I bring you one house, you say it's too much or too little or whatever. I'm not really sure if we're on the same page here. Can you help me so I can help you? Or are you just happy staying where you are? But Audrey, you know that we, uh, Claude, you know that we want to move. I mean, we've I been looking, I, looking, looking. And so I why, see her on my own app, looking, looking constantly. Why are you constantly. looking though? Why, why are you looking when you have a very nice condo right now? Stay in it a little bit longer. What's the, what's, why are you really looking for another property? My mom, me and my brother and my mom, and she's 38. It's, you know, family tradition to live at home till you get married in that culture. And, um, you know, we, we want to find a house now, but we just can't find what we want. Okay. Maybe you never will. What do you need from me? Listen, so suppose I could find you a house that met with your budget and, and in the location you want. Would you be able to sign a contract and close on it? Right, right away. away. Right away. You know I'm, we're all cash. Right okay. away. All cash. So you have the $1.2 million in cash. What about if we find a house you like, but it's not one point two, it's one point six. There's a big problem. Yeah, we're good with that. You want me to tell you the truth or, or tell you a fairy tale? I want the truth. The truth is it's going to be very hard to find something for 1.2 for the size and location you want. Houses right now are getting multiple bids on it. So really the house you're looking for is going to be closer to 1.8. Are you mad at me? They know all this. They okay. know all this. They totally know all this. Okay. Okay. You've got to pin them down and then hold their feet to the fire when they screw up. When you show them one thing that's perfect for them and then they give you all this backpedaling excuses, you've got to say, hey, I don't understand. You said this. Now you're saying this. Help me out here. Okay. You know, give that's it to them. You, pick it. Don't let them, another rule, don't let them pee on your back and tell you it's raining all day. You've got to take, you've got to be, hey, I'm a business person. I'm a professional. My time is valuable. I'm only working on the information you gave me. And I'm very confused right now. We've looked at several houses and for the first one was too small. The other one's too big. The other one, the price wasn't right. And this isn't what you told me when we spoke back in, um, uh, back in January. So help me out here. I'm not, I don't think we're, I'm a little confused here. Boom. Not to bully them, not to insult them. You still want to keep likability. But I think you need to stand up for yourself and draw a line in the sand occasionally with people. <laughs> and sometimes maybe you got to fire them. Let them drive somebody else crazy. How much time? You've got to analyze how many hours are you putting in with this person and is it really value? Are you going to get a return on this? That's it. That's the ticket. Are that is the return? ticket. That's the only ticket. Yeah, if you're not going to get a return. Then it's it's no matter how much the carrot is, it's yeah, you can't bite it. <laughs> Absolutely. So kind of um, you know, when we're talking about closing, though, this is when we give the presentation together with the needs and greeds in our analysis. We kind of blend them together. We have a tentative 